Summer is just about here, and while we'll be spending more time outdoors at the pool and park, we have to take some extra precautions in the heat when it comes to our pets. Well, welcome Dr. Elizabeth Welch, the medical director at Stand for Animals to the show. And how are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Good. Having good. Yes, of course. We're glad you're mm -hmm. here. Okay, first let's start with this. What are some things that pet owners need to come at, keep in mind when it comes to their pets in the summer months? Well, it's going to be warm this summer, so you need to definitely make sure that you've got ample shelter for them out and, you know, if they have to be outside for prolonged times, you want them in the shade, just like us. Mm -hmm. And uh, you want to have definitely have lots of cold water, fresh water for them so that they can stay cool. And, um, and then also don't run them or walk them in the heat of the day. So morning, early mornings or evenings are probably better for them because they're getting hot just like we are. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we've, we, we hear about this a lot, that animals die in cars and things of that nature. So why is it so important to make sure that you don't leave your pet in the car? What's the reason? Well, car temperatures can exceed 110 degrees on any given day. Even on a cooler day, it's going to be a lot hot, hotter in the car. Mm -hmm. So you want to definitely overheating is one of the big risks and mm -hmm. uh, heat stroke is is one of those and it can be deadly to dogs what it are some minutes. signs then uh, of heat stroke so excessive panting mm -hmm. they can get lethargic uh, a lot of times they'll uh, they'll do some vomiting um, passing out sometimes they can have seizures and that's usually when it's an emergency process and you need to get them to the veterinarian well can't you leave the window cracked open to allow some ventilation is that I mean is that a, a remedy or not probably not because still you've got the heat and the humidity mm -hmm. inside that car that's not going to allow them to get enough airflow mm -hmm. um, so if they do have to stay outside for a period mm -hmm. of time just make sure there's access to shade and plenty of water plenty for the dog, water. right? Absolutely. Okay. Um, let's talk about Stand for Animals yes. and what it is that you do. Okay. So we were formerly Spay Neuter Charlotte, mm -hmm. and we were Spay Neuter Charlotte for six years. We were doing predominantly Spay Neuters here in um, North Carolina, here in Charlotte. And basically, our mission is to prevent euthanasias in shelters and animals entering the shelter. So originally, one of the pillars of Spay Neuter was preventing overpopulation. Now we're starting to see that the, another pillar of it is veterinary care, keeping animals healthy, keeping them in home so that they don't enter the shelter. Mm -hmm. So we changed our name to Stand for Animals because it encompasses everything that we now currently do. And you do all of this at an affordable cost. Yes, ma'am, we do. Mm -hmm. So in Char Charlotte location, we have three locations, one in Pineville, one in Lake Norman, and one in Charlotte. Our Charlotte location five days a week does affordable veterinary care. Mm -hmm. For somebody who is a new dog owner, has got three dogs, adopted those guys, uh, what about tick prevention? I'm, I'm experiencing a lot of ticks right now with these dogs. I just keep picking them off. Yes, so ticks and fleas are very important to treat against monthly because ticks and fleas like to live in nice, warm, damp areas and humidity. And South Carolina is actually one of the leading states that has heartworm disease. Mm. And heartworms are spread by mosquitoes. We have mosquitoes year round. Yes, we do. So we want to make sure that they're on a monthly prevention to prevent them from getting heartworms, mm -hmm. which are worms that live in their lungs and then migrate into their heart and can be deadly. Ticks, same thing. Ticks carry nasty diseases, Lyme disease, mm -hmm. um, and other diseases that can, you know, make your dog very sick. So you want to prevent that from happening as well with a monthly preventative. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for being here, and I love what you're doing, you. providing this veterinary care at an affordable cost. It makes such a difference. Visit StandForAnimals.org, StandForAnimals.org. That's the website to go to for more information. Again, thank you for your time. Thank you so much.